What's up, everybody? Welcome to the 505 interview series. Tonight, got a great, great show planned for y'all. Um, some great guests as well. But before we get started, I'll remind you guys about my partnership I've got with Zyphe almost to the end of the month. So if you're looking at getting yourself any new accessories, well, make sure you uh, make sure you head on over to uh, Zyphe's website. Use that promo code 505CR, save some coinage. You can also hit up their Amazon store. I've been posting links to the uh, to the uh, uh, or not just links, uh, promo codes to use over on their Amazon store. So make sure you take advantage of that. Get yourself a new lighter, get some other stuff, you know, uh, have fun with it. Uh, and of course, pinned in the comment section, I've got the, my link tree there that will take you to all my sponsors and advertisers. Go show them some support and take advantage of those promo codes so you can save yourself some money. You know, we're getting to be that time of year where, uh, you know, you want to treat yourself. So treat yourself. Tonight, my guests probably don't need much of an introduction whatsoever. Uh, they are social media superstars. Uh, they are really, you know, one of a kind out there. They uh, they represent a luxury boutique brand out there from We The Business. Uh, I'm really looking forward to learning more about this brand. Um, and hopefully uh, you can learn a little bit more about the uh, individuals behind it. If you don't know who they are, well, you're going to learn. Um, so without further ado, let me bring on our guest. We've got, we've got Coca, uh, Cigar Cutie, and Miss Exquisite herself. There you are, ladies. Welcome. In fact, I think, in fact, I think I am going to make you two the showcase and make myself small in the corner. So <laughs> how are you ladies doing tonight? Good. I'm how are you? Excellent. I'm glad to have you guys on. Miss E. Always a pleasure to see your beautiful face. Always, Dan. Always. Oh, Good to see you, Coco. Good to see you, Mrs. Squizzy. Oh, I see you rocking the black and white. I'm rocking the pink and white. Oh. I was debating which one. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So you guys represent the luxury boutique brand here, We The Business. And I have here the sampler box out there. So... Uh, I'll hand it over to you, to uh, one of you two, to explain a little further about the brand. Coco, go ahead. Okay, well, I um, I started with the brand probably about three months ago. Uh, he reached out to me um, because I was representing another uh, boutique brand, uh, Sassy Soul Cigars, and he reached out to me and was like, hey, um, I've heard good things about you. Um, I'd like for you to take a look at my cigars. So I said, you know, hey, I, I'm always about, you know, the smaller brands or I don't want to say smaller brands, the newer brands um, that people haven't heard of. And so when he said it was we the business, um, he said he was a, a small uh, a boutique brand, luxury brand, actually, um, based out of Florida. And when I took a look at his website and the blends that he had, I was intrigued. So he... Um, sent me some cigars and I quickly fell in love with the Barber Pole and the Candela. Those have become my favorite cigars from, from his brand. And he has uh, two lines. He has the executive line, um, executive premium line, and then he has the boss line. So representing both of those lines is it's been really easy because the the cigar is so good it's 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 i i don't even have words for it because the very first time i smoked the barber pole i could not get enough of, enough of it. it 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 was like he sent me two barber poles a uh maduro a habano and a candela i smoked the barber pole back to back, like just immediately. And then I said, well, let me slow down because I hadn't eaten anything. I hadn't even had any coffee. I was like, okay, uh, I better slow myself down. <laughs> and so um, it took me another day to smoke the candela and then I smoked those back to back. So <laughs> that was like, okay, 
clearly he has an amazing brand here and it's been really easy representing it because when people try it they immediately want it they they immediately want that cigar either from the executive line or the boss premium line i mean I'm starting to drool a little bit just reading the descriptions on here and along with your and I you I see I'm like oh, I want to try that but now I kind of like want to try them all like at once now based yeah. on reading this I'm I'm intrigued yeah uh, excellent so Missy anything you want to add on well my story is similar to Coco a few weeks ago He's seen my my work on Instagram, my content, and he see he saw how I represent other companies. So he said, "Look, I like what I see. I like what you do. I want to sh- send you some cigars to get your opinion on them." And we started that way. And Coco, it was funny because as soon as he sent that, you sent me a message to send some cigars to the shop. <laughs> it was so funny. I said, "Coco just texts me." He was like. Okay, we'll let her handle it. Let her handle it. <laughs> <laughs> and and it's is it's been a, it has been very different from the other brands that I represent because because it has been been getting such great traction. Um, it I actually became a sales rep for the company, like just like just by accident and so it it like being a sales rep for a company that you really believe in the product is really really easy because oh, it's definitely easy it, it I, I don't even have to sell it I, I i go in for a sales call and i i let them read the description they choose their favorite and then it's like oh okay i gotta have that listen when i tried the cigars first of all i was excited to get my pack I was I was waiting for it. And when I got the cigars, I could not choose which one I wanted. Let me tell you. I'm going to say my favorite is the Candela and the tri Wrap. Okay. Those are my top two. <laughs> and then the Barber Pole. But okay. I love the Candela. So I'm not a Candela fan at all whatsoever. So I told him, I said, look, if you can change my mind, you got a winner. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like you're too. Candela, because some candelas be a little, a, a little sweeter. Or a, not, not sweet artificial, but sweet naturally. But it's yeah. not, it's not like that at all. It's, it's like an undertone of vanilla, kinda. It, so or, I got I, earth I and cream, cream, like a vanilla cream and earth. That's what it was for me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know, for me with Candela, if the blending, it's not so much the wrapper itself, but it's the blending within the filler. And most of the time it comes across as I'm smoking a grass fire. Mm -hmm. And so when you can get a good, when you can get a good blend on the filler section on that, it totally changes the dynamic of that Candela into just pure deliciousness but very few brands have been able to master uh master that down on it well i went with the habano okay 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 Okay. uh i want the habano i i am kind of a whore for a barber pole but i figured i'll i'll uh i'll let that uh i'll let that simmer for a a little bit there you know uh uh, yeah rock sir it is yeah um, you know the tri wrap has me intrigued. Yeah, the uh, you know I'm a huge fan of Cameroon, but one thing that surprises me on this one is going with the Indonesian Cameroon. So we're we're going to we're going a different direction and more of a uh, with more of a uh, uh, a sweet mineraliness out of that instead of what you get from uh, Africa or the Dominican. Uh-huh. So when I tried, I told him I would do a little research. I tried the cigars. I went on the website and I told him I was impressed with his website because not only when you click on it, it gives you the wrapper binder filler, but on another page, it gives you the origins. It tells you about it. It's very descriptive. 
but it's not like an overpowering website like, oh my God, it's too much going on. But it's very informative for those who want to read about it. And that's what I really loved about the website. So. So, Missy, you being somebody with social media clout as a influencer out there on it, do you find that with brands that you represent within the in industry and accessory side of things that that it gets easier when there's a great story behind what you're trying to sell behind the people behind the brand most definitely most definitely especially when they believe in what they do it makes it easy for me because when i believe in it and i represent you and you believe in it it's making my job a little easier. I'm not having to push you and myself because you have a great product and you don't believe in it. So it does, it makes it a lot easier. <laughs> and Coca, from your side of things, you come from more of the meat. Oh, you're on this side of me. I can't <laughs> yes. right there. Yeah, hey, you know, over here. Yeah, uh, you're over here. Uh, uh, yeah, like I remember using this camera, everything is. <laughs> You know, I, even though you're on this side of the screen over here, I got to point, if I point this way, which is where you would be on my, whatever. All right. You come from more on the media side of the industry uh, on that. So how do you juggle the may perceived biasness being more on the media side? Um, you know, I think that a lot of people think that when you are doing media for a company, any company, really, that you are always going to like the product, right? And so it takes a lot to make them understand that you are giving your honest review of a product. There's some products that I do not like, and I have said that, um... And even if I don't love the product, I will find something that I like about the product. So mm -hmm. I'll say, you know, I might not like this for me, but, you know, someone else may like it. So coming from the media side, it's, it's hard to juggle being brutally honest, but being honest enough that people don't think that you're just always being negative. Yeah, I, I see that, you know. I, I do represent a couple brands, but I, I made it clear that what I do on the media side will always kind of come first. And I'm going to be honest. And if you put something out, I'm going to be honest on whether or not it's for me. I'm not going to tell you at all because I'm going to do my best to tell everybody, even though I don't like it, you may love it. You may find something in it that makes it great for you that wasn't great for me. But both brands have told me that's why we want you because you're honest. You're going to tell people the truth. You're going to, you're going to be upfront and honest that hey, this isn't your favorite one out there. You don't like it, but you, you will always find a way to spin it for that palette for the person who would enjoy that. Exactly. It's just like a an author writing a novel. You may start off writing a novel and no one really likes the novel, but by the middle, you have them hooked and by the end, they're in love with it. So you have to find that balance on how to bring it all, like full circle. Like, how am I going to make it so that it's not a totally negative um, it, uh, viewpoint? It's not a, all negative, but it's like... When, when you're honest enough, you know, when you see these infomercials, it's like, oh, my God, if you do this, you're going to lose 10 pounds in 10 days. Now, that's a lie. Now, you know it's a lie. You know it's yes. a lie. Well, <laughs> Missy will tell you that's a lie because I can't keep the peanut butter cups out of my mouth. <laughs> She'll tell you that. Teasing me. And so, you know, you you have to know how to balance that. You have to know how to say, you know what? I lost 10 pounds in 10 days. You might not, but here's what I did. So you're going to bring me along, but you know, I ain't never going to fall for the 10 pounds in 10 days. I ain't never going to fall for it. Because if it was that, I would always, I would literally be on, you know, Sports Illustrated uh, over 50 bathing suit cover. I mean, let's be clear. 
<laughs> I mean, I'd probably buy it even if you weren't. Just saying, you know. Listen, this winter body goes in a bathing suit. Whether it's summer, winter, fall, or spring. It's going. You're going to get the two piece. So that's why. Hey, that's. I, I'm. You're not hearing a complaint out of me. You know. <laughs> I still, I still take a gander. I mean, I can't take a bite. I mean, you know, I know for Miss E, as long as I, I, I don't touch the beard, she's cool with it. Because you know, yeah. she, she bullied me and and uh, no, and hurt my feelings <laughs> when I trimmed up the beard and I went a little too short. And she, she, this is her exact words. She goes, what'd you do to your face? I don't like it. And did I give you permission to do that? Okay. We've had this conversation not to touch it. And That's you decided right, to do it anyway. I have not because you shamed me. See, <laughs> she beard shamed you. She beard shamed me. That's right. Did I give you permission? To... No, no, ma'am. Don't, no, no. You want to tell you, you come to me first. <laughs> Oh, yes, listen, listen to the ladies, because if we say don't do something, don't do it. Don't do it. Just don't do it. No, I've left it alone. OK, yes. I've left it alone. Leave it alone. Right. You, you shame me into never wanting to touch again. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like I gotta say off the bat, you know, strictly unique off of what i'm picking up on this and uh -huh. yeah i i know habanos are not for a lot of people they don't like them it's but i i, I like habano and for me habano kind of is a testament for how that sets the tone for a lot of the rest of the cigars out there because it tends to you tends to be have tends to be a little bit more fuller in the body uh, you know, uh, and for me, you know, what taste I can get will set the tone. And right now I'm enjoying the, I'm really enjoying the cigar. Definitely on more of that medium plus side on the body, the strength is about a good medium on there. Nice smoke output, uh, very, very savory earthiness with light, sweet undertones. And the retro is very nice. Um, not overpower, not overpowering, but a, a nice, a nice little punch. And so, you know, off the bat, I'm, I'm really, I'm really enjoying the cigar. And there we go, nice burn going. Mm -hmm. in, look at that, yeah. Oh yeah. And you know, I, I had the Habano, and I had that with a lager beer, Ooh. and nice. it was amazing. Like, nice. It, it. The contrast with the lager and the Habana was so they they paired so well together that I was shocked and and I only picked up the lager beer because I didn't feel like getting up to go get a drink and the lager was close so <laughs> it was like an accidental pairing so right, but I can see that with the the savory earthiness from this cigar with that the hoppiness of a lager mm -hmm. i can really see how that would go together quite well missy e, do you have your yes, jug sir. moonshine with you my what do you have your jug of moonshine oh it's gone oh well, i know that probably lasted 40 minutes <laughs> i i literally just finished my blue uh my blue shine so <laughs> that's that's very good so how on to the marketing for this how how is the perceived marketing out there for what you, either one of you guys what you guys do or input that you have on the marketing well i know um because i have been with him for about three months um he he asked me a lot of input when it came to marketing how to package it, how to um, get get it out there. Um, even as far as our shirts, the shirts we have on, um, he, I gave input on that. 
when I, when I told him about the marketing of the cigars, I told him, I said, simple is better. You don't want, you know, don't overdo it with a whole lot of packaging, but you want to gear it toward those sophisticated men and women. Because, you know, sometimes people will look at a boutique brand that's not a huge name and they'll think, oh, this, I'm, I'm, I'm never going to smoke something from a, from a boutique. So you have to um, trick their eye into thinking mm -hmm. that this is going to be just, it's going to be sitting beside the ones that you would normally pick up. So you have to, when you package your, when you, and this is for anybody, when you package in something new that no one has ever seen, you have to make it similar to what people are already seeing on the shelves because you want to basically make them look at you twice. Make them look at that packaging like, oh, okay, is mm. this this is not a this not a, this can't be a boutique brand, you mm. know? Because packaging yeah. is everything. Um, yeah. Coming from because I'm an author all also, so when I first got into um, writing novels, the first thing my publishers publicist told me was, don't make your cover anything less than what you already see. So go to the bookstore, mm -hmm. look in the section you're writing, and your cover is going to be similar to that. So the same thing with cigars, whether you're a boutique brand or whether you're the bigger brands coming out with a new cigar, you still want to pattern it after what is already out there so that people yeah. will, even if it's by mistake, pick pick up the boutique brand and then they get home and be like, oh, well, this is not oh. what it was, but let me give it a try. Boom, got you. Yeah. I, still, I do enjoy, you know, the the band, the logo, you know, the, the, the rolled up stacks with the lit cigars. It is catchy because, you know, you you're portraying onto that more luxury side of the boutique the money draws you in like oh yeah roll up stacks let's go you know with the cigars i like it you know it, it definitely catches the eye uh on onto the cigar you know the 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 one thing i see is that with all the bands being exactly the same uh, on there do you see possibility of a bit of confusion from the consumer base yes so that'll be a thing that he'll have to work on because because all the bands are the same he's going to have to uh di differentiate uh the cigars because what if you lose your little leaf your little pamphlet you're not going to know what you have in your box you'll know the tri wrap you'll know the boss uh the 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 uh, barber and you'll know the candela yeah you might not know the other ones yeah. so at, at some point it may have to be a tweaking of whatever is on the band you know again tricking the eye and tricking the consumer into thinking is the bigger brand put the smaller band with habano on the bottom, yes, the at the bottom. you know so it's it's always um it's always difficult to find the balance when you're just coming out with a product of doing too much or not doing enough. And so you got to find the balance. You don't want to do too much when you first come out because you don't know if it's going to be successful or not. And now that this brand is being successful, now you can go and do a, a little bit more. You know, the packaging will probably change over time. You know, you won't get the gold foil box. You'll get something maybe a little bit more sturdy or you may get the vacuum packs, you know, so it, it has to be something you always you always have to think of it in terms of what else can I change? Because if you bring it all out at one time, you're not going to change anything. Nothing is going to be able to be improved. No. And and, and I, I get that, I you know, more so me curiosity wise that if. I'm a not if I'm more on the novice side of a smoker and I'm looking and I see, you know, I see a bunch of similar colored brown sticks in here. Well, which one's which? Mm -hmm. You know, especially out of a sam out of a sampler there. You know, if I at least had an idea that red is this and purple is this and white mm -hmm. is this, you know, it kind of 
you know, would make things easier for for somebody newer, I should say, you know, mm -hmm. as you know, for somebody, for people like us, you know, we could, you know, we have a better understanding of probably being able to differentiate the difference between the, the cigars easier than somebody else would. Right. On there. So, so was one of the main goals after getting started to bring in and a, a big influencer name like Miss E? Of course, um, because you always want someone who's doing more than what you're doing, right? So you don't ever want to think, oh, okay, it, I, you don't need an ambassador. You don't need someone representing your brand. And it doesn't have to be an ambassador. It doesn't have to be an influencer, but you need somebody that's going to um, look at the product like you look at the product and be honest about the product and then what are they going to do are they going to help promote the product or are they just out here to get cigars and then that's it and they're not really going to say anything or do anything so it was like um when he came to me he didn't know that we knew each other so he was <laughs> like he it was funny i i got a, i got a message and it said do you know her and it was her picture and i was like oh that's my girl that's queen i know her <laughs> <laughs> he was like oh okay okay so can you reach out to her and i'm like sure sure and so i mean listen the way i found her was through her social media so of course she's out here doing big things because i had no clue who she was i think i've known her now for a little over a year i mm -hmm. just one day she's it just popped up in my Instagram feed. And I'm like, oh, well, well, oh, well, hello, Mrs. Squizzit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, look, she has turned me on to newer brands, accessories, just by her feed, you know, and she does a very good job in how she calculates her photos, her reels, videos, going live and what she says talking because, you know, that's the that's the power of having somebody who has a voice like she has is that when she talks, people listen. She draws them in. Yes, you know, she's yes, she's gorgeous. Right? We all know that way. She doesn't have to rely on that. She can rely on the smarts that she has. So she, you know, when she talks, I listen and she's like, I'm smoking this. Well, well what's that? Well, I want to know more. That yeah, looks good. Yeah. All right. So, yes, I, I get that power. She does very good at that. You know, I have bought things based upon her recommendations on just what she has said talking, the way she describes it. It's very good. You know, uh, I the video, the, the videos, I haven't bought anything off the videos. I've done everything based upon you talking live. So, but I, I do enjoy the videos. They're very nice. They do, they do catch my attention and then I want to know more. So I wait for you to talk about it. So, okay. you know, you've, you, you have, you have that power. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not just doing stuff and it's not working. <laughs> I'm glad it's working. <laughs> I appreciate that. Yeah, you do, you do very good, you know, and I think that's, that's an important aspect out there that for small brands when i see is that they they keep saying well i'm trying to find a way to get more exposure get things big i'm like go get yourself an influencer because mm -hmm. they'll 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 bring the people in now you can't make look you i i can i can tell you how great something is but i can't make you buy it you know you can lead people to water but you can't make them drink mm -hmm. but getting somebody in who has who has that voice that has that presence is definitely a start because at least if they don't buy it, they're going to be checking you out. They're going to be going, well, I want to know more because she said it's, she said it's awesome. Yourself an influencer. So you got yourself an influencer. You have yourself a really, this is really good. Uh -huh. we, we have, we're almost ready for. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yes. 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 That's right. Oh. Real Bucket's still available for sponsorship. <laughs> oh, gosh. Um, well, you know, and that see, to me, that's the mark of a good cigar. You, you know, mm -hmm. if you got to have something to dab at your face mm -hmm. and then need a nap afterwards, it's mm -hmm. a good product. It's a good product. If you can make, if you can make me drool, it's a good product. I'm, I'm sold. Sold. And I'm sold. Got him. Yeah, exactly. You got me. You you threw it out there and look, you reeled me in. All right. Oh yeah. You had the right bait on. <laughs> yeah. The thing oh, that I, I mean, love most about it, good. huh? All of the cigars I during the retro hill of all of them, even the Maduro, like the Habana, the Maduro, it, it, it was an amazing retro hill. Through the retro, I, I got more flavor, but it was almost clean. It wasn't a burn. I got full flavor without singeing every nose hair in my, <laughs> in my nostril. It, it, it is, it's, it's a good, this is a very good retro. It's got a little, got a nice little punch. It's not overwhelming, right? But it complements the cigar very well. You know, yeah. I, I'm also, like, I, I'm a senses kind of person, and this is hitting on this. This is hitting the savory sense with mm. the, the droolage. It the is hitting the sweet sense because I'm picking the the sweetness that really hits at the beginning on the tip of the tongue, yeah, the 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 spice through the retro and then you hit this aromatics on this and the aromatics are fantastic on this oh, yes. i mean i i keep coming back to smelling this foot you know <laughs> and it's just it's, it's just good i mean i love it <laughs> and the thing is it when i smoke one of those when i smoke any of the cigars in either line the premium or the boss line and i'm around mm -hmm people people have come up to me and said um what are you smoking that smells amazing now the funny part is i don't have a sense of smell so i can't smell it so i'm i'm always intrigued when people come up to me and say oh my god that smells amazing and i you know i immediately send them a text you, you know i'm sitting here in either at my camper or in a cigar lounge mm -hmm. or just around friends and i'll say listen People are loving how they smell, and they haven't even smoked one yet. Yes, I think that's that is good. And still, we got that still gorgeous burn going. No issues. Draw is nice. Um, you know, I I prefer I prefer a little bit more of a snugger draw, but that's that's personal preference on there. Right. So for me, I'd like this to be just a little snugger, but you know, beggars can't be choosers, right? <laughs> but you like what you like. So, but that's also, um, like, you know, being an influencer, you, you yourself. Oh, I'm saying, well, well, here's the thing though. When you say you would like a snugger draw, or whatever, when people say that, when an influencer says that, the, the cigar companies take notice of that. No, it's like, okay, right. if he thinks that, then how many, what percentage of people think that? And, mm -hmm. and that's part of your marketing, part of your in product improvement. That's right. pro product development. You you have to look at all those things because not everyone likes a, a wide open draw when they're yeah. smoking yeah. their cigar. You know, yeah. I, there are some cigars that I do like a snugger draw on it. Um, I had another cigar, which will remain nameless, that was pure trash. But it had the type of draw that I liked. But it was trash. It was a trash cigar. And I'm not going to say any more past this. Look, you know, if you quit buying from the dollar bin, you wouldn't get that kind of stuff. All well, right. no, because let me tell you, I had a $2 cigar that... I was literally shocked by like the smoke put me in the, and it wasn't a Monte Cristo, but it was like a Monte Cristo. I thought I had picked up a Monte Cristo, but it was a $2 cigar. And that cigar was so good. I burned my fingers trying to almost chew the whole thing. Oh, it was not worthy. 
it, it yes it it was nub worthy it was almost like let me pour the little hot sauce on and just eat the little bit that's left <laughs> so so why delve into on creating on to the boat moving in you know with the small batch the boutique line why go for more of the luxury side instead of kind of just starting out like you know here we're sitting we're gonna sit here maybe middle a little below a little above that middle section why why shoot for the stars and go we're gonna do this but we're going in luxury well i i think everybody wants to be top tier right <laughs> everyone starts at the bottom not everybody wants to stay at the bottom and if you if your product is good enough you can go through the ranks of making your product more and more luxurious and so if your end goal is to get into cigar lounges or cigar shops you have to always aim a little bit higher than what you were before so when you when, when i because i i represent three brands so when I first started representing Sassy Soul brand, Sassy Soul Cigars, she she was just starting out, right? She has now moved into the realm that she's in her second year, and I, I can taste the difference. So even with her cigars and We The Business Cigars, I can literally taste the difference on how they are improving their cigars month after month, and for her, year after year. So it's like, if your goal is to be in the sh on the shelves with the Monte Cristos and the Davidoffs and the Perdomos, if you want to be on those shelves, you always have to go even further and think, I want to be luxurious. And to be luxurious, mm -hmm. I'm going to have to do, put in a little bit more work. Yeah, yeah put in that work, <laughs> most definitely. Yeah, I, I liked your answer. I mean, that was, <laughs> you know, you gave you you gave me the answer I was looking for. Uh, <laughs> you know, yes, I I agree. You know, you can you can settle for staying at the bottom. You can settle for being right in the middle. But mm. you know, if your ambitions are to be the best, well, you know, you, you do. You got to put that work in, and I right. agree with you on that. And 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 now. There are some people that don't want to be at the top and that's fine. They they will stay right where they are because they're not going to do too much more. But for for the average person, they always got to do a little bit something. Why do you think so many people rebrand themselves? Why do you think these companies come out with a new product? It might be something mm -hmm. totally different than what they're doing, but they come out with something new. Why? Because now they want to be the top of that game. Do either of you have ambitions to want to get into the lab and work and blend on something for yourself to put out or for just you personally? <laughs> yeah. I my patience for me. My patience is not set up for it. I'm I am a um I, I don't know what I am, but I don't have patience for it because I I know it's a process that you have to go through and I'd rather smoke up all the, you know, trial and error ones than sit down and say, okay, now let me pick one. So it's for me, it's a no. Um, but if someone came out with something that was light, creamy, slightly sweet, mm, medium to full bodied and call it a cocoa, Cigar cutie cigar, I'm all for it. <laughs> I just gave you the form formula. There you go. And we know Miss we know Missy e would you know has to pair well with uh, uh, all day alcohol and coffee in all the day. morning. Oh yes, most definitely. <laughs> exactly. Most definitely. I feel like I already know what you want, so I've. I've spent enough time. I've spent enough time with you to know exactly which I was like. Yeah, I need my coffee, and then I need my liquor. Something that goes with my liquor and my coffee, and then I just need my liquor for the rest of the day. For the rest of the day, exactly. Because you know, 
what else is there actually? I mean, coffee, I cigars, alcoholic beverage. The, aren't those yeah. the three main ingredients for a great day? <laughs> for a great day. <laughs> That's all right. Hand me over an adult libation and I guess we're good to go. There we go. I mean, and if the libation can be starting your day in the coffee, oh, that's Ooh. a fantastic day. I, I, I will say what last year in Vegas, uh, you know, for uh, TPE, when we went to have, go have breakfast, I did. Like, I, I'm not a coffee guy, but I do enjoy hot chocolate. I did have, I did have this, uh, uh, Irish cream hot chocolate with caramel. And it was oh, my. it was a very good way to start the morning. And I go, man, I wish I could start every morning like this, but you know, I do have to go to work. I'm heading to Vegas yes. on Friday, so you know I'm gonna have to try that. It was, uh, uh. It, was, it was very it was very good out there. So uh Hitting events or trade shows, is that on the works or has it something already been done? So trade show, the big events, it's on the works for me. Um, I do have a desire to go, to be a part. I want to experience it. But um, I've just did a cigar and whiskey pairing in event because my goal is to become a sommelier. So that was a great experience for me. So TPE, P PCA, that's in the works as well. So I can, I feel like I want to have the experience to gain more knowledge if I could during those experiences. Just meeting the different people, picking their brains and enjoying. Yeah, same for me. Um, my goal is to get to PCA next year. Um, and and in the same realm, I'm I'm most likely want I, I want to do those events that not everyone hears about. Um, while while I love the cigar weeks and things like that, it's like I feel like I again rebranding. Um, I feel like I need to be at the bigger events um, to try to you know find out more about the cigar industry. I, I'm retired and my, I'm retired from the educational field. So I'm all about learning. So learning. Me, if I can go somewhere and learn and yes. listen to speeches and, and just delve into it, then that's where I want to be. Most definitely. It, it, it is a fun experience. Um, definitely a lot to take in. Um, then you, especially your first time there, and you realize, and then at your second and third and fourth times you go, you realize it's just all about the parties. <laughs> That's where everything goes down. Yeah. You know, being out on the floor is boring. And I tell people who want to go, I'm like, even if you can't get in onto the sales floor, it doesn't matter. Just show up at, just show up at the clubs um, show up at the bars because that's where everything goes down. That's where you get the most learning because you're going to sit with the brand brand owners. You're going to sit with the manufacturers and you don't have to say anything. You just take it all in because you, that's where all the learning goes down. That's where all the business goes down. That's where everything happens. So even not being able to get in on the floor, just going for the events, uh, the cutting lights, the parties, that's where everything happens. And that's where you've, I've, I've found I've picked up the most information that I've ever got is going to the clubs, going to the parties. Okay. Nice. This is there, you know, TPE, Keep this in mind. TPE, you know, I roll, I roll as media for TPE. So, you know, and I've gotten to the point now where I spend most of the time at the booths of my friends who own, who own brands, bullshit and having a good time and and then you know i'll go and marathon you know 10 five minute interviews and then call it a day and still have fun but pca is a different story because i you know i'm there representing a brand so i don't get that experience mm -hmm. for me i'm on the floor i'm on my feet all day i'm talking to people all day long but for me that's a different type of educational experience because mm -hmm. that i'm talking to a lot of retail shops so i'm learning what their shops are all about 
so that right. I can best gauge on how can I sell my brand into this shop. What, mm -hmm. what are they looking for? What is their mostly clientele? What is their experience? Mm -hmm. So that's another good one. Missy, I don't, you know, you've got that experience. You're one of those experienced people who works in a shop. So mm -hmm. I can come to you and I talk to you and you can, you can fit me because it's like trying on clothes. You have to have a good person that can get you a nice fit on a cigar. You can do yes. that. Not every shop is equipped. A lot of shops I find tend to be, this is just a hobby for them. They don't know anything right. really about cigars. So yeah. how, how do you play this up to try and sell this into a shop that may not have a Missy working in it? Somebody experienced to fit this, to fit this cigar in the hands of the right people. So mainly I, when they don't have that, I'm talking to the person who's ordering the cigars. I'm going to linger around the, the lounge to see who comes in, to see if there's any regulars that come in. I'm going to talk to them to see what their palate is, see how they enjoy the lounge and what they enjoy in the humidor to better gauge. I'm really hands-on when it comes to that. And if they don't have somebody who, oh, I don't know cigars, or I'm just here ringing up the cigars, then again, I talk to the person who is doing the ordering, seeing what what do you most what do you sell mostly in your humidor, so that I can gauge what to give you. And then I talk to the the, the members or the customers that's coming in. I sit down, I talk to them, see what they're enjoying. Oh, how often do you come in here? They're regulars. What do you enjoy when you come in? And then I gauge from the customers and from the manager, I put two and two together to figure out what will best fit in the lounges. All right. And yourself there, Miss Coco? Um, I don't, I... It is it's weird because when I when someone always asks me, you know, what should I smoke? I, I have like a series of questions that I want to ask them. You know, are you smoking in the morning, in the evening, before you after you eat, while you're driving, after work, before work? Like I need to know what your your normal routine is for me to tell you um what what you would I suggest you would smoke? Do you like spicy food? Do you are you uh, you know? Do you drink alcohol? Do you only drink sodas? Do you only drink tea? Like all of that goes into what I would recommend to a person. Um, I and and if I'm sitting in the shop, most of the, if I'm sitting in the cigar lounge and I'm smoking a We the Business cigar and people come over, I will always ask them what cigar do you like? I never ask them, well, you'll like this because it's like a Monte Cristo or like uh, a Drew Estate. I, I never say what something is going to be like. I ask them, okay, do you smoke Drew Estate? And what what flavor profile do you like from Drew Estate? Drew, Drew Estate? And then I'll say, okay, well, you may like this one. Not because it's similar, but because it has the same flavor profile. So for me, the the one thing I want when I go into a lounge, if if I'm new to it, like I went to Evie's lounge and she had some cigars that I had not had before. And she walked me through that process. She the one that taught me how to do that because she was like, okay, what, what do you like? What are you smoking? What did you just smoke? Okay, well, come over here. Not over there, over here. Let me show you this over here. <laughs> and she did tell me. And I was looking at something. She was like, oh, you're not ready for that yet. And I wasn't. I wasn't. <laughs> I bought it and thought I was going to smoke it. And I, I had a drool bucket and some beans <laughs> on. And I needed a nap. I had to be. I was stretched out on the couch. I was like, oh, she told me I wasn't ready. She <laughs> Yeah, I think my bucket was a little bigger than that. <laughs> I, you know, I got so you. Right. you know, and I I know what my lim I know what my limits are now. You know, <laughs> at first I thought that I was going to be able to smoke um, 
the my father's original and i was trying to be cute my first time out and smoke that and i think i took like a four hour nap it was like it, it wasn't pretty it just and, it, and i still had the cigar in my hand i was like oh i can't do it oh <laughs> no. but yeah i learned my lesson i have graduated though I now can smoke my father's, but it's after I've had steak and lobster, <laughs> a ginger ale, and some mashed potatoes, and then I can tackle the my father's. Okay. <laughs> well, I need I need something to go with those ghost pepper chips. <clears throat> I've become addicted to eating them, and oh. and now I feel like I need to. Uh, I'm making it a goal to find a cigar that pairs pairs very well with those chips. Well, would you want something that that is on the spicier side, or do you want something that's creamier to celebrate? I, you know, I've, I'm thinking creamier. I, gone, I need something that's kind of. I, I feel I need something that's in that in between the the creamy and spice, and something that's not on that sweet creamy. Too side. creamy, right? I, I feel I need in between, so I've been making it my goal to try and find something that 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 has some creaminess, but not sweet creaminess, but mm -hmm. is also not overly peppery and spicy. Something right. more on the more on the the savior savoriness side with that. So well, I, I'm I'm I've been trying playing around. That's where that's that that's what I do when I'm bored. I try and figure out what cigars pair well with. Weird. Evie, what do you yeah, think of Maduro for the Maduro from the the weed of business? From the, what about that one? Would that one that that I, one? Ooh. And I love the retro hell on that one too. I was like, ooh, that is tasty. It. I mean, it's it's spicy, but it's not gonna. It ain't gonna. It's not gonna why, why? Right, it's not. You're you're, it's you're not. making. You're making me jealous with all this talk on the cigar oh. here. You got them in your hand. You you'll be ready to smoke them real soon, real soon. Just yeah, don't don't be jealous because you keep talking about. It. I'm like, but this is good. It, too. Oh my goodness! It's <laughs> listen. When you get to the tri wrap, the tri wrap was so good, and it started to. I even got a change within the first third of it. Right, the, the, the first may, may work for him. Because it's gonna get from all and go all the way up. All the way up. And where the ghost pepper is. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Have you had those That's... chips? No. Ghost pepper ones? I know no. I haven't. Oh, okay. No, thank you, sir. Oh, my stomach can't. My stomach is already telling me no. I try not saying, to, don't, don't do I it. I try not don't to eat it. the whole bag, but they're so good I end up eating the whole bag. Ooh. <laughs> Bye. I got, I, know, I got a cat. I got a cast iron gut. You know my. Apparently, we, we, you know, I go with one of the guys to work, and we go to the, we go to, a, we go to one of the Mexican restaurants, and I raid the salsa bar, and I, I like, I load I up on the, on the fire roasted pickled jalapenos, and I just sit there. I'm like, I could just make a meal out of eating those by themselves, and he's like, you need to go on that show, the hot ones. Yeah. Oh my! Yeah. I don't yeah. know. He's like, he's like, I'm watching. I'm watching you eat those jalapenos like they're nothing. You bring jalapenos and eat them raw. You've got all sorts of peppers, joys. I'm like, oh, yeah, I don't I enjoy them. They're yeah. delicious. Yeah, that fourth <laughs> voice that you hear is my stomach saying he crazy. <laughs> I, I like I, I, I no sir. It's it's all there, you know, like. I, I enjoy I it. Try wrap. I I think the try wrap will go really well with those chips. All right. Well, now I got something to try. So yeah, you go. You got to yeah. try it, and then you got to let us know. Oh, I don't know. No, you know, there'll be a picture of me. You know, eating those like they're candy. <laughs> you know, I've I've I, that's what I do. That's when you know when I got nothing to do. I think of what are weird food combinations and then try and figure out pairings with them. Okay. Well, I would like be very interested to know what you would pair with all of the cigars in your sampler. 
Like I, I'm, I'm going to be watching to see what you pair for with those. Oh, you're giving me a task now. Now, oh, now I'm, uh, I told you I'm in. I was in education, so if I don't leave you with a pop quiz, I haven't done my job. I think, yeah, <laughs> they can. I can. I can. I can say with the Habano. Mm -hmm. I think. Um, what are those? Uh, what are those fruity? The Mike and Ikes mm -hmm. go great and good with this. Mike and Ikes. I think I have some Mike and Ikes in the cabinet. Yeah, I'm telling you. That'll go. Guess what my first picture gonna be tomorrow? The, Mike and Ikes I'm and now. I'm just, I'm just saying, you know, based upon the light sweetness, the savoriness, and the pepper. Mm -hmm. from the cigar now coming into this final the final third on here there's a smoky element picking up and mm -hmm. i really think that 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 fruitiness would add a tin i i have a feeling that i would be slobbering all over myself if i had a mike and ike's right now just, <laughs> just <move over. laughs> look you know there have been times, like you know, on the there have been times on the Tuesday night show with the manufacturers where just, I'm just talking, I'm asking questions, and it hits, and all of a sudden I'm just like, so yeah, I'm like, oh man, I'm slobbering all over my shirt. <laughs> all right, this is a box worthy stick at the moment because well, the beard's all wet and everything. <laughs> you know, it happens. We've all been there. I mean, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we yeah. all have. We all have. Thank yeah. God, mine's wasn't caught on film. <laughs> I've got plenty of. I've got plenty of it on film. Going, Ooh, and talk, mm. Talking and uh, talking, and you got like that kind of like. Blah, 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 blah. You know, I, oh, oh, I, I got a swallow here, man. You've you've hit you've hit that you've you're hitting that spot on my tongue. Ooh. Give me a second on that. Yeah. I was doing a video and that happened and I was doing a slow motion video and the cigar was it was, the cigar was really good. And I was smoking and I took it out and all you saw in the slow motion was it. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I I look at look, I, I I may be a little weird, but I do look at I do look at the caps on cigars when people are smoking it, especially when they say how amazing and great it is i want to see how wet it is yeah yes. yeah because that that right there is a key for me but is that a thing because i, I do that too i think that's a thing i, I think you want to know like oh okay that must have been that must really be hitting that person because mm -hmm. i mean sometimes you can see it'll be running down the side of the cigar yeah. and it's like, and like dude, whoa, that's, that's, Dude, this that cigar must slap. I mean, that whole the cigar is just sucking wet, and yeah. and I just look I'm because sorry. I have to, a lot of people tell me like, oh, it's a really good cigar, and I look and it's like all dry and everything. I'm like, is it though? Is it though? Is, is it though? Because if it's if it's not a little, I was about to let me not because that'll turn it into an entire yeah. different show. That's right. <laughs> but then I see one and it's just sopping. You know, I'm just like. Dang, dude, she's wet. All right, I gotta try that. All right, you sold me on that one. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's a really good state. I bet it is. I am down that road that of no return. No. That's right. You know, but yes, I do look at that. I, I, yeah, I'm good. I'm glad I'm not like a weird. You know, I'm not weird and stuff. On but that. I, but I also use that as the gauge of. Do I want to try that? Like <laughs> I use that, like okay, that might be one I might need to try. Look, this thing is wet. <laughs> All right, I'm producing I mean, enough moisture in my mouth smoking this, so that should tell you right off the bat that this is good. <laughs> Plus, I pulled out the drool bucket. Well, I've been, a I've been and, able to keep it. I've been able to keep it in my mouth. So well, that and the the way your words are like sliding. Through. <laughs> yes, exactly. So you know, we're good. You know, what did he just say? 
I know. <laughs> Look, I don't have a grasp on the English language to begin with, so then you add moisture into it, and that just uh, another degree of difficulty. <laughs> but that's also the mark of a, a good cigar, it, it, especially when it says that it's a a medium plus or a medium to full. If you're not if your personality is no different than it was when you first started, then that cigar lied. It it ain't it ain't that. So I need to feel something. You know, if I'm not drinking, I need to feel that from the cigar. If you're telling me it's a medium plus and I'm still like, oh, is it? And I done already <laughs> smoked the whole thing. No. Uh -uh. And, this ain't, this ain't alcohol. It don't need to sneak up on me. Right, you know, I I have <laughs> It has been pointed out to me on a couple of occasions with cigars that I've smoked. They have hit me in a different level because they'll point out your eyes are glassy. I'm like, <laughs> it's a yeah, your eyes were <laughs> wide when we started. They're like this now. Uh, you know, but you know, uh, yeah, it, it, I'm waiting for the hat to be turned to the side. I'm I'm waiting for yeah. the hat to be turned. <laughs> What's up, girl? Oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there it is. Well, there, there it is. is. There Come it is. Often. <laughs> Clearly not often enough. Uh, I know. <laughs> Heard you was looking for a real man. I'm going to go find you one. <laughs> oh, gosh. Yeah. Uh, I am... I'm thoroughly impressed. I mean, this is delicious. The aromatics. I mean, I just, I keep coming back in the, the smell. And I'm just like, I yeah. get, you know, it's one of those things I, I'm, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying because I, I, all five senses are activated on this cigar. And for me, that's good for me yeah. personally, that's the sign of a good cigar is when all five get hit and, and, and it works. This is very, a very harmonious cigar. Um, just you know, the smoke output's been fantastic, uh -huh. and though I feel that the smoke is coming across light on my pal, when I'm look when I in the camera when I'm watching the smoke come out, it's coming out very heavy, thick, and dense. So, uh, a, you know, to me, I guess I'm absorbing far more smoke than I feel like I am just based upon what I'm seeing. So. Uh -huh. <laughs> I like that. It's good. You know, I'm getting dragon clouds. But for like, even for me, when I'm smoking any of the We The Business ones, the smoke is light across my palate. But when like I can take a picture or I'll see it and I'm like, wow, that's pretty thick. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting that thickness in my mouth, which mm -hmm. I do appreciate. I mean, uh, I, again, I, I, might, I almost went down the wrong road. <laughs> I don't mind that. I, I don't mind the, you know, uh, 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 th you know, that thicker smoke. I'm not a fan of when that smoke is kind of chewy on the mm. palate. So, um, again, harmonious. I mean, everything about the, this cigar in particular, I can't speak for the rest of them because I haven't had them, but I can speak on this one. It's very, it, it it's, it's delicious. It's it's very good. It's delicious. Okay, so there we have it. There it's, we it's have it. It's delicious. Yeah. Coming from a not an influencer. All right. Yes. Yeah. All right. I, I mean, I, I don't know why you don't think you're not an influencer. I've been peeping your page for a while too, sir. All right. Because I'm not an influencer. I, I understand. I, look, I, I have the self awareness to know that. I'm sure I have influenced people's decisions to buy or not to buy something, mm -hmm. but I'm never trying to tell you not to smoke something, whether I like it or not. I want you to, I mm -hmm. want you to pick it up because it, it it's not for me, but it could be for you or right. maybe your palate's similar to mine and you don't think you'll like it. I still want you to try it. Cause maybe you pick something up in it that makes it good for you. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm not I'm not trying to sway or influence somebody to buy or not to buy a product. Right. I'm just giving my personal opinion based on my palate's perspective. So 
you know, I, that's why I, I don't consider myself an influencer, but I do understand I have some influence. Uh-huh. I'm yes. not, I'm, I keep pointing to her. I'm not like, I, I got to point the opposite direction. I, I'm not like Miss E over here. All right. I'm not like her. I don't have that kind of influence because she has influenced me to buy things. Uh-huh. So, that right there is a telltale sign. I, I'm sure there are people out there. I've never influenced anybody to buy anything. They just enjoy my weird and goofiness. And, uh, you know, <laughs> I, I'm not like you. Let me point this way. That's right. I don't know, like you. All right. There. I don't have the influence you have out there, you know. Because you do such a good job. I, I, I enjoy watching your interviews and, and your talks because it's very informative. You know, you 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 have very well thought out, prepared questions where I, I'm a person who just likes working off the cuff. I, I just want to go see where the conversation goes. I want to be like if we're at a lounge, just mm-hmm. whatever, whatever you want to talk about. Mm-hmm. It's an open forum. I, if you want to talk about cigars, let's talk cigars. If you want to talk life, we'll talk life. Whatever you want. You know, I, I, I don't want to box in what I do because I think that there some of those it conversations leads to awesome things mm-hmm. well, you know, out there. You know, whether it be spending an hour and a half where we've been we talked about men's mental health. And I thought that was an important yeah. conversation. Mm-hmm. and topic to talk about you know it, it got away from talking about cigars and more so about talking about something that it's important that's that doesn't get discussed a lot mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. out there man this is so this is a damn good cigar <laughs> go y'all need to go buy this cigar all right yes, you y'all do. need to go I, I i can speak directly on this cigar you go get it if you're watching on Facebook or YouTube, in the description, I have put a link to these two ladies as well as everything about We The Business. If you're watching on LinkedIn, the two people that watch on LinkedIn, you'll have to guess which link takes you where because LinkedIn does things weird and differently. All right, so we get on that. And retail shops. Um, what are you? Are you readily available out in some retail shops or are you more on the regional side? Right now, we are more online sales. Mm -hmm. Uh, I do have a couple of retail shops that I'll be visiting while I'm out in Vegas. Um, Mm -hmm. And, you know, if we can get into a retail shop, that would be great. Um, but right now the online sales are, are picking up. So go buy, go buy, go buy. Okay. It's we, the, now the is T H A, not T H E. It's T H A C L T H, you know, like, like T N A, but it's T H A. Yeah. And I think, I think y'all should buy this awesome sampler pack. Yes. Because if they buy the sampler, they will get the wide range wide variety of cigars from the executive boss collection and Mm -hmm. you get the pamphlet with the um descriptions of them and then you will find just like my guy here how good it actually is and then do the comparisons do the comparisons of what would you have to drink or eat with it and and trust me there is one or two cigars in every sampler that is going to be your go-to favorite. Now, do they get the awesome sticker like I got? Yes, they will. They will right. get that Coco Cigar Cutie sticker. That's even more of a reason to go and buy. <laughs> That's even a better reason. And, and you know, for some select few that have watched this and go buy it, there's going to be something special extra special in your package if you order you gotta go buy this is good i i really enjoy the cigar the burn has been phenomenal and Mm -hmm. i made i made my my one critique which is a personal preference critique that is all 
That's all. Personal preference. As for anything else about the cigar, I tell you, it's great and wonderful. And I've got no complaints about the cigar. I just, you know, got, always got to find something to critique. And mm -hmm. it's just something that isn't. Because everything people is don't not think perfect. About. Not everything is perfect. Well, and if I mean, someone tells you that it is, they lying. Well, I mean, I mean this perfection. I mean, every morning I look in the mirror and I'm just like, Jean-Claude Van Damme, Daniel. You look good. You are looking fine. P-H-I-N-E, fine. Well, you know, hey, we are our own biggest fans, aren't we? Yes. Well, somebody's got to be. I mean, somebody's got to do it. Some, and it might as well be it. us. Because we know us. Thing I, oh, do, yeah. I mean, I can't speak for anybody else out there, you know. I'm still trying to raise the awareness about my being God's gift to women, and it's just not sticking. Well, there, well, there you have it. This is good. <laughs> I talk too much, and the cigar went out. This is not because of anything wrong with the cigar. I was just yammering too long, and I let the stick go out. I mean, but but look how far you got it before it actually right. went out. Look at those dragon clouds, man. This is a very heavy, thick smoke, and it doesn't come across heavy and thick on the palate. That mm -hmm. I love that. Yeah, this was this was nice. And if and yes, yes, I think if you're somebody who produces a lot of moisture on good cigars, this is you're gonna have to get yourself your own bucket. Yep. Yeah, get it. Get the, oh, there it is. There it is. <laughs> you're gonna have to get your own bucket on that. <laughs> so. The growth on the brand, is it where you guys want to be at this point, or, or is it ahead, below? It is now gaining steam. Mm -hmm. um, because, like, a, three months ago, no one had heard of We the Business. Mm -hmm. And after we did, we he, he and I did a, a phone conversation, and it has now picked up steam and it is going and is gaining momentum and that's where you want to be you you don't want it all just you know all out there at one time so it's, it was a slow and steady race and now we're in this race we're in the race so yeah. it's like you know what you can if we can either stay at the pace we at or move a little bit faster and now we're moving a little bit faster we don't want to go you know, so fast that we lose our traction, but we want to go fast enough that we are going to keep the pressure on um, people that enjoy the cigar and get, get it out into more people's hands. I mean, this week alone or la last week, because today is only Monday. Um, last week, I sent cigars to Florida, Las Vegas, Ohio, and what was it? Tennessee or Georgia, one of those, I can't remember. So it's, it's gradually, you know, it's, it's gradually going across different states, which is, it, which is what we wanted because, you know, when you're localized, no one can, no one knows it. But when you start to branch out, then people are beginning to notice, you know, wherever Evie is in Virginia, I'm in Maryland. So now i people here in Maryland are asking, wait, what, what, what brand is that again? So, mm -hmm. you know, that's what you want. You want people that's to true. recognize the brand. Are you looking at coming in with some cutting lights in some places here shortly to really great garner a bit more brand awareness? Yes, yes. That, that's, that is the plan. So uh, Evie and I will get together and we'll figure out, you know, when I can come to Virginia, when she can come up here to Maryland, and then we're going to, you know, we, we might take this show on the road before it gets too cold and, and figure out where we're going to do a cut and light at. Um, I Matter of fact, I, I know that there's going to be one that we're going to do. Um, a friend of mine is opening up a brand new cigar lounge in uh, Lady Smith, Virginia. So that'll be open on November 11th. And somewhere between November 11th and December 11th, we the business is going to be there. That's awesome. Love yeah. it. Man. This the nub has just gotten better on this cigar. 
the aromatics have gotten better on this cigar as I've hit the nub. The the flavors have become more pronounced, more robust into this, and it's uh, damn, this is this is good. Look who finally decided to join us. Oh. Hey, Mark. Huh. How you doing? Michelle had joined us earlier. I don't know if she's still here. Michelle had joined us earlier. I think Cigar Rockstar had joined Rockstar. us. Earlier. So, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. oh there she is, Cigar. I forgot the... to put her comment up there. So, that, there she is. Yeah. Miss Michelle, my 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 partner in crime at every event we go to. <laughs> nice. <laughs> If you if there's an event and you see us both there, and you know trouble's probably being had. Well, I mean, you know what? That's that's the goal. The goal is that you know I start to link up with people that I'm meeting online. So mm -hmm. you know that's that is where eventually you know I'll be ending up. I I know that. I know, and and Michelle can speak to this. I know I'm gonna see her at a NASCAR event because I love NASCAR. I I, <laughs> I just love NASCAR. So my team ain't doing that well, but wait, she such she wife, goes but. to everything out there. Yeah, and she te she texts me menus and food places. She's like, we need to go do this, and I'm like. Yeah, she just went to a restaurant, I think, down in Arlington, Virginia, that I'm like, oh, I got to go here. Oh, I, I, I just like, saw it on her adventures with Michelle, and I was like, oh, I got to I gotta go. I got to go. She did, She found, when we were in Vegas, she found this uh, Mexican Thai fusion place we went to. The burritos were like this big. Okay, were, so you got to tell me what that is because I'm going, the, I'm there. I leave Friday. I'm there for a whole week. So and it, it was is, huge, and then I had to make fun of her because she didn't know how to eat a burrito. Well, it is knife and fork. I don't know. No, you know, you know it's a hand. Yeah. It's that's a hand. Although I will say those burritos were so huge and so packed that you kind of needed a knife and fork on it. I eat everything with a knife and fork, though. So it is. But I'm also a weird to because with burritos i like to eat it inside out and then you got nothing but the tortilla left so it's a nice little dessert at the end oh okay well yes M michelle is an amazing cigar educator she does yes, a she wonderful is. job out there i look forward to her videos every monday yes she does she and they're her pick of the week job. on fridays she she's good, you know, and she's she's always finding. So she's always sending me food places. She's always telling us that we have to go and eat. Uh, we gotta go eat at this place, and I go, oh, again, you don't have to. You said we're gonna go eat at this place, so we're gonna go eat at this place. I mean, you don't have to. You don't have to sell me on it because now I want it right now, and you know, now you're gonna make me wait till the next time I see you on there. Say, Thank oh, you, yes. Mark. Yes, Coco is an outstanding interviewer. Thank she you. does such a amazing job. Mark knows that. She does that. Thank and you. And of thank course, you. Missy is an outstanding ambassador for everything she touches. Everything it turns she to gold. Oh. Out there. Well, yeah. Stephanie, hi, hun. Everybody's popping in now. Where were you, all you guys earlier? You just <laughs> milling you, you stalking the. You stalking this out? It was like, oh, we don't know about this group here. I don't oh. know. Oh, Let's see the if they're still on at 10 o'clock. <laughs> you you know, look, you knew it was going to be all right because this sweet, innocent boy right here is going to keep the ship running. Damn, we didn't talk about that. You can say we've talked about it a hundred times, and I'm still going <laughs> to tell you the same thing I tell you the last hundred times. Look at this face. <laughs> Innocence there. Look at this. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. I appreciate that. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm just an average. I'm just an average dude. Mark making excuses. Business, business called for Mark is sitting at the computer, hitting refresh every twenty three seconds <laughs> on Amazon. That's what business called for Mark. Yes. Surprised we were able to get him away from, uh, from a computer screen for this long. 
Listen, I, I, I'm surprised you, you had me this long because, you know, I'm I'm deep into NFL football. My fan is, I got two players playing tonight, and they better be winning. They, because I need to win my fantasy football game tonight. I, lo- I won last week. I, I, I'm three and three right now. So, I'm, and I'm the only girl, I'm the only female in this league. So, I need to. Well, the 49ers are losing. Yeah, but I just need I you can Kittle to be getting me some points. Cause the other the guy I'm playing has McCaffrey McCaffrey. Well, I am uh, you know, for the fourth week in a row I went nine for ten on my parlay, so I'm upset about that. Uh, well see I listen. You know, I'm upset. It's like fourth week in a row. Here I think I'm gonna be coming into some money and uh, it's like psych. Yep, it's like it's like Come on, Bronco. Why did the Broncos have to win? I needed you to lose. Oh, and they play like rock stars yesterday. Yes, they did. And I'm just like, you know, you ruined my parlay. Yeah. So. Yes. Fantastic cigar. Make sure you all check out We the Business. Uh, out links to everything business. them is down in the description. Links to I'm just going to go like this. These two beautiful ladies are also down there to everything about them. So you can connect with them on social media uh, out there on that. Uh, Next Monday night, at this point, I don't have a guest, but it is my fourth annual birthday bash extravaganza show. So come celebrate my birthday because I got shit to give away to all you people. It's my birthday where you should be giving me stuff, but I'm giving away to you. Got lots of stuff to give away to everybody. So uh, make sure you got you all tune in and try and win yourself some some swag uh, and cigars and all sorts of stuff because I got all sorts of stuff. If you're looking for the next interview interview, November 13th, Bruce Bush from Karen Burger Cigars will be my guest. And... Um, he is trying to actively get the queen herself to join, but about 5% chance. So you may want to tune in for that 95% chance she doesn't show. But if she does, yeah. it'll be a good time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Ladies, anything you would like to end with? Right. Just follow me on social media. You can find me on YouTube, Coco Cigar Cutie. You can find me on TikTok, Coco Cigar Cutie. You can find me on Instagram, B Swingin' Webster, which is my author name slash Coco Cigar Cutie. And it's spelled B Swingin' Webster. Last name, people, true story. <laughs> Missy? You guys definitely can find me on Instagram, The Draw Queen. Select Draw Cigar Cutters, of course. And you can find me on Facebook. That's all my platforms. I don't have a Twitter. I don't have, yes. Oh, you didn't have it out and ready. Oh, no. I'm still so mine, so I got to get another one. You got blue? Is that blue? Yeah, that's blue. Okay. Save it for me. I got to get a blue one. See, then I'll know if somebody took it because, you know, it won't yes. be so easy to hide. The colors. Right. Oh, that's not yours. I know that's mine. <laughs> exactly. It, Mark can do personal engraving on them, too. Cool. So then you really know it's yours when your name is on it and go, where'd you get that from? Oh, I bought it. Uh-huh. You bought it? You bought one that says... Yeah. Okay. Let me see. Sure, yeah. Hmm. Let, let, let me let me see let me see the box. Right. Yes, exactly. Oh yeah, there you go, Mark. Yeah, yep. Yeah. See, you were late pulling it out. Now you gotta have a meeting. Late, with now the boss. we have to have a meeting. With who? With Mark, because you were late pulling. You were late no, pulling I, out the select draw. No, I had it ready and beside mm-hmm. me uh-huh. until yeah, we got to that part, mm-hmm. sir. Uh-huh. Well, I had mine ready as you were talking about it, so you know. <laughs> I mean, there's a reason why on the select draw page, uh, I'm number one video uh, out there, and you're oh. not. You know, that's just... that's that's on select draw. I mean, congratulations, though. <laughs> I mean, look, this is the face of truth, so I bring that truthiness to the people out there. 
right, look, look, you bring the pe- you bring the people in, and then this face tells them they gotta have it, you know? Yeah, because you know it takes two. That's right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ladies, I appreciate you coming on. This was a fantastic cigar. I thoroughly enjoyed awesome. it. I'm um, so glad you enjoyed it. It is drool bucket worthy. Woo! I am human resources. human resources. I am um, human resources. <laughs> She's human resources sure, for these people. Make sure you go and get yourself a sampler pack. Yes, so yes. Be the business. Go online. Get your sampler pack before they're all gone. That's right. Look at this deliciousness that comes in a box with an awesome sticker that's going to find its way onto the sticker wall. Mm. <laughs> there you go. That's it. All right, everybody. Thank you so much. We will see you next Monday for the birthday bash extravaganza. Come celebrate my birthday with me. Um, it'll be an awesome time. Um, it's your birthday. It's your birthday. Yeah, that's right. I'll right. tune in from Vegas because I'll you, still be in Vegas. You tune in from Vegas. We're going to celebrate turning 4 1. So, old man here. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> and that's it for tonight, everybody. Thank you so much for hanging out. Thank you to everybody who's been in the chat, especially well, now the chat gets active at the end of the show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm looking at the numbers of people who are watching, and I go, well, how come nobody's talking? And then you all talk at the end of the show. You're right. You're supposed to be doing it while the show's well, going on. Yeah. That means I you have to have us back so that they can tune in earlier. That's right. I didn't realize I needed to explain. I see all you people in there. I see more people showing up. Maisha. Hey, Maisha. <laughs> you know, you all show up at the end of the show. And or you start talking. I, gotta, I guess I gotta put a nose to everybody out there. I see all of you people on here. I'm looking at the numbers. I need you to talk. So we'll just come back and then you can try your another We the Business cigar and then you know go from there. Mm-hmm. So check out my journey of trying to find which cigars, uh, uh, which uh, weird food items pair well with this. Because now I'm going to make it my job to find out what goes with those uh, ghost pepper chips. All right. Try wrap. Thank you for having me. Thank you all so much. Maisha, thanks for showing up fashionably late. Like usual, none of us are surprised. (laughs) And we'll see you all next week. Take care. Be safe out there. Don't do anything we wouldn't do because we're all sweet and innocent people. (laughs) Catch you all later. (laughs) 